Boeing's problems in 2024 keep growing. Bad management, bad luck, and poor engineering are at the heart of the issues, with one of the biggest being the Starliner spacecraft. Originally intended for a short mission, it has been docked at the International Space Station longer than planned, and each day reveals another problem, making one question the quality of its construction. If something happens to the astronauts on their return, both Boeing and NASA will share the blame, as NASA funds the program under the Commercial Crew Program. NASA prioritizes astronaut safety and has begun exploring alternative options. This video will explore how this situation might unfold. Before we dive deeper, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any updates on the Starliner and other spacecraft like the Starship. Boeing has been making headlines a lot recently, and unfortunately it's mostly for negative reasons. From whistleblowers revealing internal issues to sudden accidents and problems with their aircraft, the company has been under constant fire. Things got worse when it came out that Boeing's CEO increased his annual salary to nearly $38 million, almost doubling it despite all these ongoing crises. This came at a time when Boeing was already dealing with public outrage and lawsuits over safety issues, including the infamous 737 MAX crashes that killed 346 people. Boeing had still one chance to shift this backlash into something positive, and that was if they could have returned the astronauts safely without any issues with the Starliner. But they blew this chance too, because the spacecraft has been filled with problems from the first day it launched. For the past few weeks, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams have been stranded on the International Space Station due to significant issues with Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. Originally launched as part of Boeing's crew flight test, the mission encountered a series of technical problems that have delayed the astronauts' return to Earth. These issues include multiple helium leaks and thruster problems, which are critical for the spacecraft's engine system. The mission began on June 5, 2024, with Wilmore and Williams lifting off aboard the Starliner atop a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The original plan was for the astronauts to spend about one to two weeks on the International Space Station before returning to Earth. However, this timeline was soon disrupted. Initially, a small helium leak was detected before launch, but the mission proceeded as engineers deemed it manageable. Once in orbit, additional helium leaks were discovered, leading to the failure of several small maneuvering thrusters. These thrusters are essential for adjusting the spacecraft's orientation and ensuring a safe re-entry angle to avoid excessive friction and heat buildup during descent. Engineers have managed to repair four out of the five affected thrusters while the Starliner remains docked to the International Space Station. However, the remaining issues have made it necessary for the astronauts to extend their stay on the International Space Station. One of the significant challenges with the Starliner is its re-entry process. Unlike the Russian Soyuz or SpaceX Dragon capsules that land at sea, the Starliner is designed to jettison its service module and return to the surface on land. This design choice means that the part of the spacecraft containing vital information is burned up during re-entry, complicating the investigation of any issues that arise. Investigations are ongoing both on the ground and aboard the International Space Station to gather as much information as possible before attempting the return journey. Should a major fault be discovered with the Starliner, NASA has alternative return vehicles available to ensure the astronauts' safe return to Earth. One of the most reliable options is SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. Since its first crewed flight in May 2020, Crew Dragon has been a cornerstone of NASA's commercial crew program. It has successfully launched numerous missions, delivering a total of 30 astronauts to the International Space Station. This spacecraft marked the first time astronauts were launched from U.S. soil since the Space Shuttle program ended in 2011. The Crew Dragon success is backed by the reliability of the Falcon 9 rocket, which launches it. Falcon 9 has become one of the most successful rockets in history, known for its reusability and high launch rate. In 2022, Falcon 9 completed 61 launches, setting a new record for SpaceX. This momentum continued in 2023 with 65 successful launches. By mid-2024, Falcon 9 had already completed 40 launches, demonstrating its consistent performance and reliability. 
Overall, Falcon 9 has completed over 230 launches since its debut in 2010. A key feature of Falcon 9 is the reusability of its first stage, which has been successfully landed and reused multiple times. Some boosters have flown up to 15 missions, significantly reducing the cost of access to space. As of now, Falcon 9 first stages have been reused over 130 times. What I wanted to say is, it is very safe. So, the only thing that would stop SpaceX's Dragon from returning the astronauts home is Boeing itself. You might find this confusing, but hear me out. Boeing is the oldest commercial space company in the world, having been a significant player in aerospace for decades. In contrast, SpaceX is barely two decades old. When an old established company with a much bigger budget is rescued by a newcomer, it's not a good look. Moreover, both the Dragon and Starliner are under the same NASA program, the Commercial Crew Program. In 2014, NASA awarded contracts to both SpaceX and Boeing to develop their respective spacecraft. SpaceX received $2.6 billion to develop the Crew Dragon, while Boeing received $4.2 billion for the Starliner. The goal was to reduce the dependency on Russian Soyuz spacecraft for crew transportation to the International Space Station. SpaceX's Crew Dragon became operational in May 2020 with its first crewed flight, marking a significant milestone. Since then, Crew Dragon has completed numerous successful missions delivering a total of 30 astronauts to the International Space Station. If SpaceX were to step in and rescue Boeing's astronauts after completing dozens of successful missions, it would be a significant blow to Boeing's reputation. The media would undoubtedly highlight the contrast between the two companies. So, instead of seeking help from SpaceX, many experts think Boeing will use Russia's Soyuz spacecraft to return the astronauts. While Soyuz is a reliable spacecraft, it's ironic because it had a similar issue as Starliner in the past, and guess who rescued it? SpaceX. In December 2022, the Soyuz spacecraft suffered a significant coolant leak while docked at the International Space Station. This incident raised concerns about the spacecraft's ability to safely return its crew. The leak was caused by space debris puncturing the radiator, which led to a critical loss of coolant necessary to regulate the temperature. NASA and Roscosmos quickly began investigating options for the safe return of the crew. They considered using SpaceX's Crew Dragon as an alternative lifeboat. NASA reached out to SpaceX to evaluate whether the Crew Dragon could accommodate the additional crew members in an emergency. The consideration of SpaceX's Crew Dragon for such rescue missions highlights its reliability and flexibility. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.